What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the channel, if this is your first time getting around to it. Today we're jumping into a brand new Let's Play, as I said in my little announcement video, Dragon Quest Builders. No funny business, just getting right into it, pressing that start game settings. Oh my. Music turned down way a bit. Ah, uh, five seems fine. Okie dokie. Exit. Yes. Save them settings. Chapter one, Catlin. A land of plains and plateaus in southern Alfgard. Wow, that's a name. Which was once home to a formidably fortified city. Time to design our character. Oh, look at that cute little character. You can spin them around. They're just adorable. Reminds me a lot of Dragon Ball. Okay, let's say here. I want... My guy is gonna have red hair. Skin tone. That one. And the eyes... Yeah, they can stay where they are. So, bam. And we're gonna go with... Hmm. We'll just call it the channel name. You know what? No, let's not do that. Let's come up with something better. Um... Ooh, yes. I got it. Tobias! There we go. Oh, no, nope, that's a J. Didn't want it. Don't want it to J. Want to I. There we go. Yeah. Beautiful. Tobias. You happy with this character? Yes. Yes, I am. Though, look, they're constructing our world under, under construction right now. Under construction. Oh, well, hello there. Who are you? So... Thou art before me at last. I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. Long have I awaited this moment. Come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. Thou wishest not for half the world? Wilt thou not reconsider? Tis an awful few would refuse. Well. Tobias, at long last I have found you. A single foolish choice has plunged this hallowed land into darkness. Beneath benighted skies my children crawl as insects on the earth, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. Only by the power contained within you may this ruined world be rebuilt. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. I don't know who was speaking, but I felt that that voice was uh, fitting. Okay. So there we are. Tobias, my child. You have finally awoken. I told you like 20 minutes ago to wake up. You kept snoozing. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? No. Don't have a clue. Several dramatic dots. I see. So you have no recollection of before. No matter. Indeed, perhaps it is for the best. After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see that you can move freely. Let's get move on. Use the left stick to move around and press the circle button to jump. Have a run around and stretch your legs. Okay. Wee! Woo! Yeehaw! Woo! Stretch in my legs. Thank goodness. All seems to be well. You can fulfill your role. Tobias, my child, I have awoken you that you might perform a vital task. A task upon which the fate of this very world may... What? I do not doubt that you might feel a little poorly, but it is not the fate of the world more important than... 
Oh, my poor child, it is true you are nearly at death's door. It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you of your strength. Here, my child, take these white petals. You can use them to restore your vitality. Okay. Whee! Whee! Woo! Woohoo! Yeah! Tobias attained the first handful of white petals. Good. Tobias, you've been blessed with a special power. The power to combine raw materials to build the items anew. Only you can do this. Only you have this power to build things. You can work at this tree stump. Use the white petals you gather to prepare some healing cream. Okay. Let's get building. You can use the materials to collect you collect to build new items. Try use the nearby crafting station to craft some healing cream. Okie doggy. Doop a doop a doop build. Healing cream, torch, and cypress stick. Build. Yes, I made it. Wonderful. You have made your first creation. Tobias, my child, you have a power shared by none other in this world. See, I told you. The power to build new things from raw materials. Now, use the healing cream you created to tend to your wounds. Press the square button to use tools and items. Using items. Um, mm -hmm, yep. Mm -hmm. Select it with that. Mm -hmm, yep, yep. Square. Okay, square. Boom. I'm no longer dying. Do you feel better now? I see the color has returned to your cheeks. You created that healing cream with your own two hands. However, the men and women who inhabit this world have lost that power of creation. Tobias, my child, a sacred duty rests upon your young shoulders. You must. Hmm? Well, it, it, yeah, I quite understand that you wish to, to leave this place, but first you must learn of your... <sighs> Very well. I will show you how to build a path out of the script. First, take this broken branch. Okay. Tobias stands first broken branch. Well done, Tobias. Within that humble broken branch sleeps a cypress stick, the simplest of weapons. Approach the tree stump as before and use it to craft a cypress stick. Okay. Build. Cypress stick. Build. Make. Yay, has. Congratulations, my child. You have created your first weapon. Mankind once made tools and used them to build a thriving civilization. And as all great civilizations do, so too they built weapons. But now, only you have the power to build such things. Tobias, my child, you have been entrusted with the divine mission to... <laughs> I love it. Hmm? I, I can well imagine you are eager to see the world outside, but, but, but would you not rather learn more of... <sighs> Very well. To build a path out of here first, you must equip the weapon you have made. Press X to open the main menu and place the cypress stick in your hand. Akidaki. X. Items. Okay, I don't have anything. Equipment. There we go. Equip. Well done. Weapons are not only useful for fighting monsters, they can also serve to gather materials. The power to break objects apart and reduce them to raw materials is yours and yours alone, as he said like four times now. Ever since this world was plunged into darkness and mankind lost its power, they have awaited the coming of one with the ability to create. Tobias, my child, the dreams, the hopes, Ah, the very fates of the people of this world rest on your shoulders. No pressure. If this land is ever again to see the light, you must fulfill your sacred duty and... Tobias, you, you, you're not a asleep, are you? Huh? What? <sighs> Perhaps it is best we continue this conversation outside. Yeah, probably. To build a path out of this place first, break apart and collect the nearby earth. Gathering materials. Press the triangle to break things apart. Okay. Nope. Die. 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 
die. Okay. How? Let's. Oh. Okay. Did I do it? Well done, Tobias. That should be enough. Press square to place the blocks of earth on the ground in front of you. Over there? I've marked a location for you in red. Place a block of earth there to build a stairway and escape from this tomb. What if I wasn't done breaking things? With my stick, huh? What if I wanted to break more stuff with my stick? Like this. I got a stick, you see. It's a stick. How do I... Aha! That's how I look up. Nope, nope. Wrong button. Okay. I will figure it out eventually. Eventually, I will learn the controls to this game. Eventually. Not right now, though. Right now, I must flounder around in the dark. Oh, I can change the camera angle. Oh, I got flowers. Come, flowers. Flowers, flowers, and grass. And flowers. Those seem important. Oh. Nice. So let's just skelly mans down here and take this this stuff. Die. Oh good. I can just come in here. Nothing there. Okay. Examine. No. Wrong button. Examine. There's something written on the gravestone. But it is so old and worn that the text is illegible. Okay. And place. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. I'm just carrying this cube with me. And place. Jump, jump. Turn the camera. Got to remember to turn the camera. Huh. Let's see. There we go. Open. Did I do it? Well done, Tobias. You have found your way back to the outside world. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you will see the world of Alfgard before you. Light was lost to this land long ago, and now darkness reigns eternal. The people who inhabit this somber realm once had the power to create, until it was wrenched from them. Without it, their culture crumbled into the dust. Tobias, my child, you have been entrusted with a momentous mission. Only by the power you hold, the power to create, can this world be rebuilt, and the people of Alfgard will rise once more. Okay. I beg your pardon. What do you mean you don't get it? Forgive me, my child. After having only just awoken from so long a slumber, this must all come as quite a shock. Let us adopt a more simple approach. Use the power of creation that dwells within you, and rebuild this world however you see fit. No doubt you will fulfill your duty in the course of doing so. So, too, will you come to learn the tragedy that befell this world, and the role you are to play in its salvation. I am Rubus, the spirit of the land. Go forth, my child, and know that I do watch over you always. Oh, and, uh, Tobias, there is, uh, one last thing that you must know. You are not a hero. If nothing else, remember this. Okay. We found a place. We got a trophy. Look at that. Them trees are creepy. Oh my. Giant scorpion people and golem stone people. And, and here I am just sitting around. The land you see before you was once known as Cantlin. Long, long ago, a bustling city thrived here, ringed all around with stout fortifications. But all was destroyed in the relentless attacks by the monsters. Scarcely a trace remains of its former greatness. Tobias, my child, you must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Cantlin, for it's to its former glory. This will be the first step on your journey to make Elfgard arise once more. To this end, I bestow onto you a gift. What is it? A flag thing! Hooray! 
that beacon thing there. Take this banner of hope in hand and seek the source of the light you see before you. Even as the darkness closed in around them, the men and women of Catlin flew this flag to the bitter end. Plant the banner in this land once more, that his bountiful light might serve as a symbol of Catlin's restoration. Now go, make haste for the pillar of light. I attain the banner of hope. Cool. Die, dirt. Yeah. So this is the Minecrafty aspect, because you're harvesting dirt. I gotta remember I can push this button to attack upwards. Just let go of it. There we go. Get all the dirt, and don't forget I can jump. There, yeah, yes. It's getting it quite nicely now. Oh no, I fell down. I want the dirt. Better take these. They're going to be important, I'm sure, to make little health thingies. Oh, we got sticks over here. Die, sticks! Die! Boom! Bam. Death to the sticks. Oh, plumberries. That's what those things are called. Well, that's fine. Got some grass. Plumberry stuffs. I like it. Got lots of dirt. Flowers. Gotta do quick mowing of this grass here. It's, it's important to me. Got a nice little path I made there. Jump. Use. Go forth and create a beacon of Cantlin. A warm and soothing light spreads all around. People near and far will be attracted by the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child, here's one already. Okay, we planted a flag. You said there's one already, what? Well, hi there, how you doing? How's it going? What? What's this funny flag doing here? There's something special about this place. It's so bright and inviting. My name's Pippa. What's yours? Residents requests. Oh, this I guess how we get some some questing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What? What's that? You're the one who planted that flag here. Who are you? Where did you come from? You don't remember. The goddess told you to come here. So you've got amnesia and you're hearing voices. That's not suspicious in the slightest. Oh, but this place is just so lovely. Can I live here? Tobias, my child, even with the power that dwells within you, you cannot rebuild Catlin alone. Your first step in rebuilding the city must be to house those who join you in living here. Little remains of this dilapidated house. Save the door. Repair it by filling in the holes in the walls with earth. You can place blocks above you by holding L1 and below you by holding R1. Hold down square and you will place one block on top of another. Hold it down while moving to place many blocks in succession. To take this knowledge and these blocks of earth and make this ruined house livable once more. Oh look, yay! Five blocks of earth. Okay. Dip, 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 dip. Open place. Dip, 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 dip. All right. Select this and place. And come on, come on, place. Uh, let's see. Bam! I'm doing it. Nope. It's... There we go. One more over. Boom! We have a house now. Isn't that lovely? That's incredible! Yay! Wow, that's incredible. The walls were all full of holes, but now they're as good as new. Huh? You fixed it with dirt. I thought you were just a weird boy with voices in his head. But you completely fixed that broken down old house. You must have some kind of special power. That's what they tell me. Here, take these. 
I found them on my way here. You can have them for fixing the house for me. Quest complete, white petals. Okay, we'll clear up some of this grass. Don't need to have grass in the house, it seems like a bad idea. Got it. Open! Hooray! Well, now what do you want? Hello? You must have some kind of special power to be able to fix up that old house like that. How did you do it? I have special powers. What? You've got the power to build new things. What does build mean? To bash my child. Do you remember what I told you? Long ago, the people of this land lost the power of creation. It is your duty to help them regain this power. Anyway, I really appreciate you fixing the house like this, but it's not much use without some kind of light inside. Hmm. But I can't see any torches lying around here. Beside your banner of hope, you will find a mason's workstation. You can use it to build a torch take these materials, use them to construct a torch, and rev oh wait, okay, this is the, the, the god talking, and reveal to this guy the fruits of your labors. Splat of blue glue. Goo, not glue. A broken branch. Whee! Woohoo! Weeha! Oh, no. Build. Let's, oh, I could do this. Yes, I can. Ba -ba -ba -da! Pot of healing cream. Okay. And a torch. Boop, boop, ba -da. Torch powers. I could make a cypress stick. And an oaken club. Boop, boop, ba -da. Cool. Let's make some more of this. Boop, boop, ba -da. Just so I have two of them. Okay. Alright, now let's see here, we need some torches, uh, open, where do you want me to place the torches, we gonna minecraft it and, no, okay, nope, boom, I did it, hooray, we did it, Where'd she go? There you are. Hey, where'd you find that torch? You you didn't find it, you, you built it. Uh, so that's what building means? You picked up stuff from around here and uh, somehow, with magical powers, changed it into a torch. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. You're crazy. Thanks, I think I understand, sort of. Hey. Do you think you might be able to build anything with this? If you need any more, I'll see if I can find some. Oh, she's giving us stuff. A broken branch. And a quest completed. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Oh, I can save the game. Sweet. Look at us, we're so cute. We're all just tiny little peoples. But that's going to wrap it up for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and are excited to see what's coming next, make sure you click a like button and click that subscribe button. New video game episodes out pretty much every single day at 11 Central. Huge shout out and thanks to all of you who have subscribed already and continue to support us. And I'll see you guys next time for another exciting episode of Dragon Quest Builders.